So welcome everyone to our incredible celebration here today. And um, it means so much to me that you've jumped on with us. Um, I know we've even got some of our amazing Belgium team and it's like 3 a.m. in the morning for them. So Caroline, hi, hopefully you're still awake. Um, so first of all, let me explain the, um, you know, the, really what led to this celebration. So just over a month ago, I looked at my projections for um, the volume that we were generating as a team. Oh, can I just ask um, some of you, if you could mute yourself if you're not talking so we don't get the background noise. That's awesome. So um, just over a month ago, I looked at all of our projections and I went, oh my God, we are having, in the midst of this world crisis, we are having such an incredible number of people reaching out for Young Living. It's lifting our team volume up and there's actually a chance that I may reach Royal Crown Diamond, which is a ranking Young Living this month. So that was in March. And I'll tell you, as I let the team know, and um, it, it was the most incredible experience, but I had a really strong feeling. I didn't want it just to be my celebration. I didn't want it just to be me reaching Royal Crown Diamond. I wanted to bring as many of my beautiful team members with me as possible, each having their own amazing rank advancements. And that's exactly what's happened. So we have, uh, you know, today we're celebrating me reaching Royal Crown Diamond, Katie Bashford reaching Diamond, Sharon and Andrew reaching Platinum. So that is, you know, such an exciting thing. And, and I just want to share with you that just um, on the 31st of March, it really came down to the wire. And every few hours I was posting what my OGV was, my organisational group volume. And I, I just looked it back up again and I saw that, you know, one day before the end of the month, we still had $35,000 US dollars to generate. And just throughout that day, we just kept chipping away more and more at that number. And it really felt like such an incredible team effort that lifted us up and actually carried us across the line. I love, even my cat's agreeing with me. He's in the background playing. So I love that Young Living is such a win-win business that we benefit not just from the products, but we benefit from supporting each other and we all get to... Um, you know, have these incredible rank advancements together. So, Andrew, if you wouldn't mind showing the screen, I also want to acknowledge some silvers, uh, our new silvers for the month. So we have, and I, I apologise, that's, ah, oh, there we go, that's better. So our new silvers for March are Bianca Gardner, Carla Ramslin, uh, Elaine Finn, Joanna Steer, Kate Sales. Now, this was really special because... Elaine is Kate's mum, Elaine Finn. So it was a mother and daughter celebration. Lou Carbone, Tina Chin and Trish Burrows. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. And I also want to announce our new goals. So that is Anna-Marie Minnan from Belgium, Fiona Mofflin, Kim Naden, and my beautiful sister, Susan. So congratulations. What a awesome achievement for all of you and then of course we have Sharon and Andrew having hit platinum now I need to tell you when I first met Sharon and Andrew which I I think was at a mind body spirit festival where they met um, first came across Young Living and first became involved and at that stage they already had a successful business um, themselves actually in the jewelry industry and they loved Young Living as products, but they had no intention at that stage of sharing with other people or growing a Young Living business. And I feel so proud to have watched your growth, Sharon and Andrew, over this time. I still remember you coming and supporting me at one of my team events and all my other leaders had had to go home at the end. And here were you, and you weren't even doing your living as a business, but the two of you stayed, and you were helping me vacuum that room right through till we were ready to, to leave the venue. And I remember thinking at that time, wow, this is the quality that makes a leader, someone that can really see what needs to be done and step, step in and do it. 
and um, you know we get up to our elbows with the grease and so I just want to say to the two of you I have watched your journey through Young Living with such a huge heart and such joy and to see you finally hit this rank that I know you have been planning for and loving yourself towards for you know since you began with Young Living I, I'm over the moon for you so I just want to invite you to share with us Thank you, Artemis. Thank you very much. So as Artemis just mentioned, over 10 years ago now, we had our first experience with a Young Living Oil. And at that time, we had no intention of sharing Young Living. Though as we fell in love with the products and were, were seeing amazing results, we felt a moral obligation to share Young Living. We couldn't help but to do it. Though as we were doing that, we were sharing and our team started to grow. Though there came a point where we've had the uh, fortunate opportunity of having spent time with Gary Young, our founder, um, at some farm events. And at one of those farm events, I remember a conversation with Gary and it was a big turning point uh, for me in my journey. And I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but it has. So, <laughs> um, so at that point, the realization came that this is beyond any one person. So as much as we loved the products and we loved the experiences that our team members were having, there's only so many people that Angel and I can help to pass that ripple forward. So at that point, we realized that it was something that we needed to do is to be able to empower more people because we are part of a global movement. It's not about one person, one leader, one team. It's a team young living mission that we're all part of. And it was that moment that I shared with Gary that really helped me to see that and make it all about what can we do to help to empower other people, whether they're in our team or other teams. Yep. And um, I love when I learned something new, when I learned something new from Gary, picking up the book, so many books that Gary's written, so many books available from Discover LSP. When I learned something new now, I, I ask myself this question, who do I know that I can share that with? And if I don't know anyone that I can share that with, well, then I need to speak to more people <laughs> and then find someone. So I love um, learning new information. But when I learn it, it's not just about me knowing that information. It's about, it's about passing that passing forward that and helping forward. to yeah. other people to pass that forward yep. as well. Yep. So we've been fortunate to have amazing experiences in Young Living. We've travelled the world. We have amazing friendships. Um, some of you are on this, this call right now. So we're so grateful to Young Living and to Team YL. And we just hope that uh, we can all come together and help to rise the whole company as a whole. All right. Thank you very much, Artemis. Thank Thanks, guys. Hey, you're welcome. So, Kylie, over to you. Thank you very much, Artemis. I'm very excited to be a part of today. Um, I, Glenn and I started our journey six years ago and we were introduced to Young Living by our gorgeous sister, Sabina. Can you hear feedback at the moment? I might get Glenn to turn the volume down on the laptop. He's in the same room. Um, and it just changed our life completely. And as Andrew and Sharon were just saying, when you offered something that is such a gift to you, such a gift to your life, you just actually feel it would be wrong not to share that with other people, to empower other people the same way um, that we have been. And whether it's physical, emotional or financial wellness, um, it has been all of those things to us and we want to be able to help other people do that as well. And that's where that whole wellness purpose and abundance comes in. And we were looking for wellness and then we were looking for abundance. But I've got to tell you the best part of this journey without a doubt, is the purpose to wake up every day knowing that you have the ability to help other people on their journey, whatever that may be, is just, that's the best part. It is so, so good. And the friendships that we have, that we've made along the way, the travel, the experiences, Artemis and I have travelled the last couple of years particularly. I've, you know, it's been absolutely amazing, the, the places that we've been, the farms, the people that we've got to meet, the, the friendships that we've got all over the world all because of Young Living and, and my daughters, you know, they've, they've, what they've been able to experience and what we've been able to offer them because we said yes um, is, has been absolutely amazing. And so I get the opportunity as well to talk a little bit about Katie first and Katie Bashford I'm so proud of who made Diamond last month. 
She's got such an amazing dynamic team and it's been an incredible journey for her. She's got three young kids. When she started, um, there was only two. <laughs> and um, I remember our early classes and, and um, you know, Kim Deller and, and Katie and I would have a baby rug on the floor and, and uh, it was just, it was, a, it was a wonderful community that she's developed um, in that time through moving houses and building houses and having children. And, um, you know, Katie leads from the heart and she's got, as I said, such a, a lovely energy that, that goes for our whole incredible team. So I'm really, really proud of her. And I know she's worked really hard for this and so has her team. And to do it the same month as you is just even that little bit more special, I think, so, which is fantastic. So I'll um, hand over to Katie now. Oh, thank you, Kylie. I'm so blessed that I was I fell into your team and Artemis' team and this whole beautiful team of Young Living. And um, and everyone thinks they do have the best team. But I really do have the best team, but everyone thinks they really have the best team, don't they? Isn't that the most beautiful thing about it? Um, so I found Young Living um, five and a half years ago um, and I was a tired um mum who was complaining to my friend Kim Della that I really couldn't wait to go on holidays on the weekend and that I wasn't sleeping very well and Kim Della who's on this call um, really kindly gave me this little sachet of peace and calming to which I rolled my eyes and said something along the lines of you know I'm way too smart for the placebo effect or something like that and um, I but Kim if you know Kim you don't argue with Kim and Kim's very persuasive and so I took this sachet home and I put it on the soles of my feet and I had um, the most amazing sleep ever. And um, and my first thought was, was this was the most mesmerising scent that I'd ever smelt in my life. And anyway, um, three or four days later, I went back to Kim and asked for another sample. And um, anyway, two weeks later, I went to my first 101 class where Kylie was there and Kim was there. And it was supposed to be a two hour class, but it went for about four hours because I could not stop asking questions. <laughs> and, you know, as I sat there that night, I thought this is what I've been waiting for to cross my path for at least five years. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I needed these oils for emotional support and lots of other support. And I was really looking for a, a business that um, from home around young children. I studied agriculture at uni and I had a professional career for 10 years prior to becoming a mum but it was not a family friendly industry. And so I was thinking about studying naturopathy or creating a retail space or studying interior design. I had all of these things going through my mind, but my passion was health and wellness and farming, which Young Living joined all of that together for me. And um, so when I sat there that night, I just knew that my life had changed forever and I knew that I needed this natural toolkit, but I also knew that I wanted to share Young Living. And I didn't know what that meant or how that looked, but I knew that this was it. And it was the best and most profound decision of my life. And um, I'm so grateful every day for all these blessings. And my message to everyone is that Young Living is incredibly, incredibly generous with us. There is no other company in the world that even comes close to how generous Young Living is and this beautiful culture um, that Mary and Gary have created for us. And so I don't know how I'm going for time. Um, and so my message is I'm so grateful every day because Kim, just giving me that one little sachet of peace and calming changed my life. And I've been able to then change lots of other lives. So my message is be generous and, and share generously with your products and oils and, um, and, and, and bless other people's lives because um, you never know when you're going to be um, sharing it with someone who wants to take it all the way to Royal Crown Diamond. Am I over time? Have I got... Am I over time? Okay. Thank you. Can I just say thank you so much, Artemis, for this beautiful celebration and to everyone for all your thank yous. Um, I mean, congratulations. And I have huge gratitude to you all and the beautiful friendships made along the way. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank Katie. You. I think I get to introduce Artemis now. Is that right, Artemis? Can I do that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited about this because um, my appreciation and love of Artemis has grown so much so over the years and um, I feel incredibly blessed and grateful that I'm part of Artemis's team but also her friend but what Artemis has brought to us and and one of the one important bit of advice that Artemis gave me early on in the piece and I think it was about four and a half years ago and 
that I've, I share it all the time. Whenever I talk about the business and I talk to people is that, Kylie, you have to learn how to ride the waves. And we will go through times. We're going through a time at the moment. Um, we went through one uh, when our warehouse moved from state and there was a lot of different things changed that time. And Artemis has been through many of them before that where it would be quite easy to walk away. You know, it's not always going to be easy. It's always going to be worth it, but it's not always going to be easy. And um, that bit of advice of learning to ride the waves, because those that don't and decide to, to, to not continue on this journey um, in young living is building a young living business, they, they will never get to see what we're enjoying today and how much our lives have absolutely benefited. And that learning to ride the waves has been something that always, on those hard days, I always remember Artemis saying that to me and it's been stuck with me and I share it with so many people and I'm really, really grateful for that. And I'm so, so grateful that I did ride those waves because it's been life-changing for us. So thank you very much for that. There's lots of bits of advice along the way and I could talk about Artemis for an hour, but I've only got a minute, so I'm going to stretch it as much as I can. Um, the other beautiful thing is that Artemis is an incredible storyteller. And many of us, and probably the majority of you on this call, never got to spend time with Gary or never got to hear Gary speak. Um, Artemis has had 20 years of experiences and travel and farm visits and teachings from Gary directly. And how she passes that on to us makes us feel like we're there. It actually makes us have this whole new appreciation of why that blend was, was done that way or or why they particularly harvested that way or, you know, some funny story about how that came about or, and it really makes you feel part of that huge, big, young living family because of the way that she shares that information with us that we have come into this journey later on and, and haven't had to experience that. And Young Living is such a unique company, you know, so unique and, and people sometimes don't understand that. But when we um, have somebody like Artemis, who is sharing that beautiful knowledge with us, and if you haven't attended one of Artemis's classes, um, but now she's got this amazing platform of her group where she's sharing those stories daily. Um, it's just, just amazing. It really makes you feel excited about our oils and excited about our company. And um, we're really, really blessed that that's that experience, but also that skill of being able to relay that information to make us feel like we're part of it, Artemis. So um, I'm very, once again, incredibly grateful for that. And the other thing that Artemis is incredibly skilled at, she's skilled at many, many things, but the one thing that she has managed to do over the last few years, which has benefited all of us, is that she brings people together. And she brings people together and we work together. And in the last month, um, well, we've been doing this for a few years, but we are stronger when we are when we work together rather than individually doing our own thing. And um, uh, Ellie and Jen and um, the Wilds and Katie and there's a group of us all um, get together and have chats that Artemis put together and we might all have different ideas, but when they all go into that melting pot together, we come up with some incredible initiatives and it's just amazing that brainstorming and that is something that probably would not have ha wouldn't have happened without Artemis bringing us all together but it will also have become each other's cheer squads as well so that cross line working has been absolutely magic and um it, that was all because of you Artemis and I'm truly grateful for that because I have learned so much from my my colleagues and from you and um incredibly we are blessed we are really really blessed so I am so excited for Artemis and I think um all of us can agree when we knew that this was something that you're going for it was so exciting we couldn't stop looking for updates on our phone from you and star and where are we where are we because it wasn't it wasn't you it was we and that's that's a true leader that makes us feel like we're all part of that that special achievement so thank you i completely felt that kylie i i don't know if i said this earlier it was literally like watching a horse race and i had people texting me going where are you up to now? And so I put another post up of where the OGV was. It was so exciting. But I actually want to take a moment and just talk about my beginnings with Young Living. Because when I came to Young Living, I was working as a healer and a spiritual coach. And I was always looking for any type of tool, be that a, a tool of consciousness or an actual physical tool that could help me support people and support myself to make breakthroughs in our lives so that we could become the best that we could be. 
And I had been using other brands of essential oils. And I have to say, essential oils were not up there in my top tools. But I had a, a personal need. And just by synchronicity, someone told me about Young Living. It wasn't even in Australia at that point. This was September 1998. But I listened to this beautiful cassette. And yeah, it was that long ago. It was a cassette. Um, with Gary Young talking about essential oils and there was something about his message that really intrigued me. I'm originally a scientist and so he put essential oils in a way that my scientific mind started or really my scientific juices started flowing and I thought I want to try these oils. And from the very first month that I began using them, my experiences with them were absolutely mind-blowing they were like nothing i'd experienced with any other brand that i'd ever come across and i knew that i had just found a tool that surpassed any other tool that i had come across within that was september 98 in november 98 gary made his first trip to brisbane to australia and i was one of 40 people in the audience and when I heard him speak there in person, I made the decision that I wanted to come and learn from him in any way that I could. So I saved up my money and I went to just about every event I could possibly make it to around the world. And that's also where I got to meet Gary's beautiful wife, Mary, who's on the call with us today. <laughs> and so there began, began this journey of 21 years so far and I think that the thing that still has me in absolute awe is that I have not stopped learning. So I do Facebook Lives now on our team group, the Oil Temple Tribe, and I love sharing what I'm learning, but often they're new discoveries that I've made that day or that week. And so this is literally a journey that's fed my soul on every level. And I had no intention of doing it as a business. I was one of those many people that it was gun shy about network marketing. Um, but I had this beautiful client of mine that um, had a great experience with an oil that I put on her. And she asked the magical question. She said to me, Artemis, I want to be a distributor. And I was like, oh, dear, how do I do that? And so that's how my, my journey started. I'm really grateful to her because she broke the ice for me. And Young Living has been not like any other company I've ever come across. It really, as Kylie said, it really has been a family. And my journey, I've often said that walking through that doorway of Young Living as a business has been the best decision that I never made. So I didn't consciously think that was in front of me. When I started with Young Living, I never imagined that this would be on my path. Yet, what an incredible experience. So if you're watching this today and you're thinking, oh, I don't think I could ever do that, just never say never. Because I certainly had to eat my own words around that. And this has enriched my life on every level, you know, emotionally, friendships, health-wise and financially, and I'm so grateful to Young Living every single day of my life for having, having come into my life. So even though you know, we all have loved Gary and um, I know that he's here with us in spirit, yet I feel incredibly honoured to have Gary's beautiful wife, Mary, who is our co-founder and CEO of Young Living, here on the call with us. Mary, you know, when you said yes to coming on to our celebration, I, I was just so thrilled. So I want to hand over to you. Um, we'd love to hear what you have to share. And thank you so much for your time today. Artemis, why would I not want to be with you? My goodness, this is a huge celebration. It's exciting. And besides that, I'd love to hear your accent. <laughs> It's so different from mine. I don't know. I can't remember how much time I actually have to talk and I don't want to get carried away because if I get on a roll, who knows where I might go. 10 to 15 minutes, Mary. Okay. Well, maybe you want to hold your hand up or go something like that to me. All right. Help me out. I always remember 
that fabulous after the meeting dinner that we had at your home. And you made these most delicious meals with the oils and you were so excited. And of course, Gary and I loved that kind of food and we were very excited. But as the evening evolved, and naturally as it did so many times in those early days, Gary sat for I don't know how many hours diagnosing and prescribing. And we all ate it up. It was <laughs> fabulous. Gary had such a knowing about things. And to be with him and be able to take advantage of that knowledge was a rare opportunity. And I understand what you mean about following him around and, and wanting to learn. In the very beginning, people used to send us notes. Usually I was the one who got the notes. And when they'd say, how can you talk about God? How can you talk about spiritual things? This is a business. And we got a lot of criticism. At one time, I even got a letter in the office when we were in that old Riverton building. That means in the first year. And this person was very upset that we had talked about spiritual things in the meeting. So I wrote this person back and I said, I am so sorry that you don't like how we teach about spiritual things. And I'm sorry that we've offended you. But you know something? Our business is founded on godly principles. And if you don't like it, maybe this isn't the right company for you. And that's what I sent back to her. <laughs> I never heard another word, but Gary and I would talk about it. And we decided that we were not going to talk about that spiritual, emotional side of the oils. We would let those who were in tune discover that themselves. That's a long time ago, and we have evolved. But I think those in your organization, those who know you, know that you are one of those people who absolute, con absolutely connected to the spiritual, emotional essence of the oils. And you could feel that when you were with Gary. And you were attracted to that, and you wanted that kind of knowledge because that kind of knowledge just isn't out there. Nobody talks like that. Nobody has that knowing. Nobody has that insight. I have to go back and think about how it all began with Gary. And when he had that terrible accident, he told God that if God would give him back his legs, so he could ride his horse in the mountains again, that he would spend the rest of his life serving God's children. And that's the mission of Young Living. And those of us who connect to that spiritual energy understand what he said. Because that's what we're doing when we're serving God's children. I had a very interesting thought, and I tell you this because, Artemis, this so applies to who you are and how you've been able to help people perhaps get in touch with themselves, get in touch with that, that inner knowing. But if you think about the plants being created by God and you take the oil out of that plant, that oil is a living energy that was put in the plant by the creator. So if you have the pure oil, and it has to be pure, it can't be adulterated or synthetic. If you have a pure oil and you connect with that oil, you are connecting with the creator who made that oil. What does that do to the individual who's looking for a connection, perhaps that they don't understand, what is going on in our world today? Everybody's, I don't want to say everybody, so many people are afraid. So many people don't know what to do. The feeling, the thoughts that come from Gary are, 
This is a time for mankind to wake up. It's a time to return to God. It's a time to look at what's real and what's important and what our purpose is. Artemis, you are a fabulous, fabulous leader to take this message to your people because you understand this and I know it. You know what that connection is. And when people can connect to that source, it's uplifting, it's motivating, it gives people courage, it gives people hope. And more than anything, people need hope right now. I know without any shadow of a doubt that we will come through this and it's going to be better. Our world is going to be better. Even though there's going to be suffering along the way, people will turn to that source and they will do things that are right, things that are good. Our young, our young Living family is more connected than it has ever been in the history of Young Living. I mean, you look at this celebration that we're having tonight for you. If you did this physically, how many people would be there? Versus. Um, I have to fly a long way. <laughs> yeah. And how many people are watching? I see Vaughn's face up here. I, I know you're going to have Sherry speak. We're a long ways away from you. Yeah. But we're Mary, right would, you, would you share just a little bit about how you met Gary and what that was like? You know, the, I know <laughs> I love hearing your story of romance. <laughs> it's a hilarious story. I was at the Whole Life Expo at the Salt Palace, and I was sitting in the audience of about 10,000 people, and the gentleman who was speaking was talking about what was going on those days, the government and being prepared, blah, blah, blah. And the last thing he said was, make sure you check out those oils. Thank you very much, and walked off stage. I thought, what? What is he talking about? Oils? What are oils? How weird. So I walked around and I came across the oil booth that was a ways away from where I was standing. There were so many people in the aisle, you couldn't get to it. So I just turned around and walked away. I was usually the last one out. I'd love to be there when it was all closed up or when it was closing up and most of the people had gone home because then you can, you could walk without getting knocked over. And I walked up to the oil booth and there was this young teenager behind the table. And he looked at me and I said, well, so what are these essential oils? He didn't really tell me anything that caught my attention, except he said, well, I was supposed to wear trifocals. And since I've been using the oils, I don't have to wear trifocals. I went, oh my goodness. He said, Dr. Young, standing out there in the aisle, why don't you go ask him the formula? And I tell you, I am not someone who gets nervous around anybody. I am not intimidated by anyone. But the closer I got to Gary, the feeling of panic came over me. I mean, it was, I will never forget that feeling. It was so weird. And I walked up to him and and he had lost his voice because he'd been speaking for three days nonstop. And I said, the young boy in the booth told me that you have an eye formula. And he said, yes, here it is. And I had a pencil and paper and it was Gary's pet peeve to give anybody information if they didn't write it down. You know that, don't you Artemis? So um, I wrote it down and I said, goodbye. And I was invited to a meeting, which I couldn't go to. And I said, well, if you come back to town, call me again. Well, imagine that. They called me. They don't know what a lucky find I was. They knew nothing about me. They knew nothing about my background, my networking experience, and just who I was. So I went to this meeting. I sat there and I listened. And I've always said, people who are looking for truth recognize it when they hear it. And I heard truth. And I thought, hmm, I want to find out who this Gary Young is. 
who's the man behind all of this from where this truth is coming? So Gary came back in a month. I went to his meeting and I sat there and I have to tell you, I have never heard anyone who could talk so fast, giving dates, times, places, names, everything without any notes. He could quote scripture without notes. And the oils have a biblical foundation, an ancient scriptural foundation. And I was fascinated with that. All our lives, we celebrate Christmas talking about frankincense and myrrh. Do we ever ask ourselves why? No, because it's a custom. But once you learn about essential oils, you know why. We love frankincense. Why wouldn't they take that to the Christ child? Why wouldn't they take myrrh? It's an ancient oil. Ah, that opened up a whole new world for me. I went home, I bought a few oils, I went home, and this is when I started my journey with the oils. And I was just put under somebody who I didn't know. The somebody never called me, and I didn't care because I wasn't interested in the business. I only was interested in the oils. And I'm standing in my bathroom, looking down at the oils on my counter. And I'm saying, they say this is good for the body. Hmm, I wonder what this would be like on the skin. So I started feeling the oils. Oh, I like the feel of this one. I like the feel of this one. No, I, I don't think I'll use that one. So I started putting frankincense on my face but frankincense was a little bit thin. So then I picked up another one and I found sandalwood. I put sandalwood on my skin and I thought, oh my goodness, this is so heavenly. Sandalwood has been my oil for almost 30 years. So the office called me and said, Gary Young's going to Egypt and he needs someone who could pick him up at the airport and help him get some camera equipment and change some money at the bank. And I'm going, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, yuck, I don't want to get involved. And I said, don't you have somebody else? And I said, no, there's nobody else we can find who has time. And I thought, okay, I'll go. So I'm driving out to the airport. I'm thinking, why am I doing this? What am I getting myself into? So I called him on the white phone, and he came, and he was very charming. And we went out to my car, and we talked, and he was funny, and we laughed. We went to the cameras shop. He got his batteries. We went to the bank and he invited me. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this story. I don't know how many people are listening and I don't know how many people will repeat this, but this is what really happened. He was at one teller and I was three tellers down. He didn't have an account at the bank. So I said I would verify the funds. So the lady at the counter where I was standing said, oh, is that your husband? And without even thinking, I said, no, but I wish he were. And then I went, ah, what did I just say? And I know he heard me and I could see the way he moved his head, <laughs> but he didn't look at me. <laughs> I didn't look at him. I, I was just dying a thousand deaths. To this day, I can't imagine how that came out of my mouth so fast. <laughs> anyway, we got out of the bank. He took me to lunch at the Hilton. He offered me a job at his director of marketing. And I said, what? I don't want a J-O-B. I'm independent. I'm financially independent. I have my own business. I don't want to go to work for anybody. But I tell you what, I'll help you. So I wrote the first piece of literature that was a three-pager without any mistakes that was grammatically correct. And I remember Vaughn calling me the day we decided to do away with that. She says, no, Mary, you can't get rid of that. That's what we all use. Well, we did evolved into much better things. But it was just so funny. Gary believed that when you started to write, you started at the top of the page and you put the period at the bottom. <laughs> So the rest of us, whoever was doing the editing, had to figure out where the sentences ended, where the new one started, and where the punctuation, punctuation went. He was a challenge, let me tell you. 
he got better and better and better as the years went on. But that was my first experience in helping him. He started coming to Utah, to Salt Lake and doing meetings. And he had absolute chaos in his office up in Spokane and people were stealing the money and they were in debt and it was just awful. So he and I talked about it and this letter that I'm gonna tell you about is on display in the museum in the, in the new global headquarters. So if anybody wants to read it, it's there for the public to see. But I was cleaning out the desk when we were moving from the old headquarters to the new GHQ and I was going through the old file, files and I was shocked to come across this letter. I can't believe that I was so bold. But he asked me if I would invest in his company. And the long and the short of it is, I said, I cannot invest in a sinking ship. Why don't you and I start a new company? I'll take care of all the finances and you be the one in charge of the intellectual property. You make the blends and you go out and teach. And we agreed to that. And we started Young Living Essential Oils. Our first day was Thanksgiving Day in Riverton, Utah. That's how it all started. We incorporated in April. So that's why people think it's 1994. Yeah. He was excited about the farm in St. Mary's. Nobody else wanted the farm. They all thought he was crazy. They were wasting their money. It was a stupid thing to do. What's wrong with Gary? He's lost his marbles. Now he's putting his money into land and all this. And it went on and on and on. So when I was up in Spokane helping him pack up, I came across all these letters from the title company. They'd never been opened. I opened one and it said that the farm was in foreclosure. I went to Gary and I said, do you know about this? And he said, no, let me see it. And he was in shock. We hopped in the car, drove into town. We brought all the payments current and saved the St. Mary's farm. So he was up there, he was all excited. He spent most of his time. Uncle Jack and Aunt Karma were hired and they were running the farm as the managers. So when he invited me up there, I would stay in the house with Uncle Jack and Aunt Karma. And Gary was in a, a trailer that he bought and he was out there with the workers. Well, we were having dinner with Aunt Karma and Uncle Jack. And Gary said, I'm gonna go out and check on the lavender. It was about six o'clock in the evening. And he said, Mary, do you wanna go out there with me? And I said, sure. So we're out there. He tells the story. He always told it a little bit different. But we're talking and he said, Mary, you've done so much for me. I would really like to take you to Europe to this medical conference that I'm gonna attend. He said, I just would really like to show you the farms, the distilleries, Provence, and this seminar was taking place in, in Grasse, which was about, I don't know, about three or four hours from the farm. And I said, well, Gary, I wouldn't go with you unless we were married. And he said, okay, what is that matter? And I said, well, I don't need people talking. And he said, well, they're already talking. And I said, well, I don't want to give them something real to talk about. Right now, they're just making stuff up. That was in July. And we got married on September 2nd and left September 3rd at 6 a.m. in the morning for France. Now, the funny thing about our story is that when we started working together, it's like we had been together our entire lives. There was no sense that he was Gary and I was Mary. It was always about doing it together. That old Riverton building, I know Vaughn saw it. I don't know if you saw it. We were only there about six months. It was horrifically horrible, but we painted it, Gary built a lab. That's where Rex started. 
that's where our lean started. And it was only 5,000 square feet of, of usable working space. But Gary was, I think he was texturing or he was painting. The picture is in my book. And the other side of the picture, I'm on the phone. But I was actually cleaning. And he said to me, Mary, one day we're going to be bigger than Amway. And I just looked at him and I said, oh, Gary, how can you say that? And he said, mark my words. Well, we're bigger than Amway today in the United States. Artemis, you've been through thick and thin. You've been through it up. You've been through it down. You've been through a lot of traumatic things. But I think your connection to what the oils really are as what has kept you there all this time. And now Young Living is so much different in its size, in its awareness, but not in its mission. We are still doing the same things we've always done, just in a bigger way. So I can't congratulate you any more than being here with you. And those words don't do you justice, but we are all so thrilled and so proud of you. And there is much talk about you in the office. And I want to say how much I love the people in your organization because they obviously love you very much. And it's very exciting how you all work together in your own little family unit. That's just one of those little spokes in the big young living family. Thank you so much, and I'll be excited to see where it goes from here. Thank you, Mary. It's been beautiful having you share. <laughs> Good evening, and um, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> and some of you, you will have heard Mary keep referring to Vaughn. Well, Vaughn is actually Marcella Von Harting, and she's here with us too. And so Vaughn is a good friend of Mary Young's, and she is actually right up the top of our family tree. Um, so Vaughn is part of our up, 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 up line. And Vaughn, is a, Vaughn Marcella is a Royal Crown Diamond. So Marcella, thank you so much for joining us. Do you want to take about five minutes and, and share? Yeah, I would, Artemis. And I'm so privileged to be here with you. You know, um, it, it, your family for me, it's like, there's, um, in all the years, for me, August 7th will be 28 years for me with the company. And I only know that because I came across my original form with Mary. And um, so, but I look back and in the beginning years, when Australia opened up, I, I went to Australia once or twice a year. And the amazing thing is, Artemis, you are on my ninth level. So I don't get paid from your organization. I never have. But I have traveled over there for many, many years, even to the grand opening and on to um, um, Hong Kong after. I don't know, Mary, if you remember all of that, how we did those trips, you know, uh, going over. Well. For, for me, it's like there's a family of us in Young Living that kind of created the foundation that many of the younger people stand on today. Uh, uh, and that's just, the, that's just the industry. If you go back into the industry, the people that created the foundation of companies uh, are what the, the whole industry is standing on now. And you are a fundamental piece of the leadership in Australia. Australia would not be where it is today without you. And for a long time, they struggled because they, they, they couldn't get leaders to, to come forward. And it's such a privilege to be on this call with Katie and Sharon and Andrew. Just congratulations on where you are. And I can see Rick and, and Melissa and even Jeffrey Lewis. I mean, these are some of the, the foundation of, of what's been here with Young Living. But I want to share with you, leadership is unlocking people's potential to become better. And Artemis, you have done that for many years. And what I love the most about you is when I first met you, you know, like I didn't even know what to do with you or your organization because you were so into the spiritual connection of all of it. And people didn't know how to duplicate that. 
you know, and it is amazing. I look at my organization and Judy Della Russo was a diamond today and just made crown. And she's the same way. She came into the company in this whole spiritual. She was following Mary Magdalene and doing these classes and you were doing all these spiritual classes. And when people really resonated with you, they just blossom. But there was a lot of people that just didn't know what to do with that, you know? And for a long time, the company in Australia wasn't growing because we didn't have real leaders of duplication. But the thing I love about this and why I'm bringing this up is because you found your purpose in life. And your purpose in life wasn't building Young Living. Your purpose in life was following, following your spiritual path. And when I believe that when we truly follow our spiritual path, and I believe that Mary and Gary have done this, and I believe that when we get in alignment with that, the universe blesses you. And um, the blessings that you've gotten from the universe is your young living. I mean, and how many people's lives you've touched through sharing these oils. But I want to share something with you that, that, that I think, because there's a lot of people on this call and because I, the, the teacher in me is at heart, and sharing with you as one of the greatest mentors, if people could get just this piece of what you've done, would be profound because you are truly you. You know, in all the years I've known you, Artemis, you never tried to be anybody else. You never tried to, to even when you learned information, you were always you. And you know, the truth of it is you're, you're authentic in who you are. Like all of us that have known you for years, like we just know you, like you're always the same of the congruency and the integrity that you have. And, I, and believe me, you and I, we've been on the dead body pile many times. We've been, we've been okay and then we've not been in the course because you and I and probably Melissa and Jeffrey and some of the, the other leaders on this call can know that we have done a lot of things that we've learned that that didn't work, right? And then we've done a lot of things that learned that it did work. But the thing I wanted to share with you, the mentorship, when there's 7 billion people on this planet, each one is uniquely different, truly uniquely different. And, um, and we're not alone. You know, today with the virus happening, all the biggest logo all over the world right now is we're not alone. And this is a time where, like Mary shared, Young Living is more united than any other time that we've ever been. You know why? Because we have products that are making a difference in the whole world. But I'll share with you, Artemis, what makes the difference is when everything is said and done, there's three things that you're remembered for in your life. And generations have passed and, and, and based on what we've recorded by our ancestors, it seems that we're hardwired to remember others for three reasons. Their character, they seek to connect with others through love and compassion and to contribute meaningful things and ideas. And I believe that the character of who you are, reaching and connecting with so many people, and you, through your uh, health and garden oil bulletin, you've reached thousands of people all over the world. You're not just in Australia. You're in Europe, and you have people here in the United States. So just through your communication, and you've opened that up to everyone in Young Living, and I applaud you for that, because that is the character of who you are. You share and you share to everyone. They don't have to be in your organization. And I applaud you because I know how the youngs feel about that. Um, and so your character, connecting with all these people, and you've absolutely giving life meaning through connecting of who you are. So I want to end by saying success comes in your business, not to you, but through you, based on who you can become for yourself and for others. And you have truly done that. And I am just, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. And uh, I am just uh, waiting to see what happens with the leaders that are working close with you. I know that you have a great family and a great team. And I know all of the, the workmanship of, of them helping raise you. They raise themselves in doing that. And that is the truest truest form of leadership that we could have in this company. And you are an ideal model for that. So thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to, to praise you and to love you and uh, to just connect with your whole team. I love you. Thank you so much, Marcella. <laughs> I really appreciate that. And Mary, it looks like you've got someone in the background there as well. Yeah. yeah. You're muted. Wait. Take your glasses off. <laughs> oh. Those are blue light glasses. <laughs> I have to get on my knee. <laughs>
Hello. Hi, Joseph. How are just, you? Uh, I'm good. How, how are you? I'm very well. I'm very excited. Uh, congratulations. Um, I don't know. Uh, don't you remember? You sat on Artemis's lap when you were tiny, tiny. I know, but wait, what am I congratulating for, her for? She just made royal crown. <laughs> Yo, so everybody give her a round of applause. <laughs> very, very proud of you. Congratulations. I was just going to ask you if you're not busy, but you are. Artemis, congratulations. I am so proud of you, and I do not want to disturb you guys. Love you all. Thank you. Mary, I still remember visiting you in um, up at... Uh, hey, Mary. Uh, farm and, and Joseph had just been born and he was in a little little stroller that was yeah. such happy memories my goodness he's growing up big boy um, yeah. so I just want to introduce now Melissa Pepping uh, many of my Australian team you guys know and love Melissa so much and I Melissa's a beautiful friend of mine in the diamond and above ranks she's a royal crown diamond and Every day when I'm putting my beautiful savvy makeup on, I'm saying thank you to Melissa because she's the original creator of that brand that Young Living Men took on. Um, but Melissa, you've been so much more than that to us in Australia. You've done several tours around the country. You've really embraced my team and all of the Australians as if we're part of your team. And I just wanted to invite you to share as well. Just remember to unmute yourself first. I am so honored to be here. And it was, I, I've listened to so many people share about how you have this very unique way of connecting with people and just feeling their energy. And I know that you feel the love that I put out to you all the time. I think of you often. And I, I want to start by saying that with Sharon and Andrew, you guys have always had this amazing ability to pay attention to the detail. And I remember, I think it was the, f the first time I came to Australia and I had thought, you know, if I could teach beauty school to just a handful of you, then you would know how to teach beauty school. And then everyone would be teaching beauty school in Australia. And I know that you helped to organize that and a few people turned into selling out the venue. I think there was 40 or 50 people and I brought suitcases full of all of the beauty school supplies I was going to need because I said, no, I have to have the pretty flowers and the pretty dishes and the pretty everything. And really, my plan was that if I brought all of these things over and then I would be going home without those things, I would have room for shopping. So my plan did work. But I remember opening up these suitcases when we got to that beautiful location and you helped take out every single piece, the both of you, and you paid attention to not only what the supplies were, but how I had them wrapped and how I had them packaged. And I remember thinking to myself, these are people that are going to go to the top in this company because they're not missing a single detail and they're absorbing how to do this all. So I was so proud to see you guys make this incredible milestone achievement and it, congratulations. The best is yet to come though. You, you are not going to be here long because you're already on to the next. So I can't wait to celebrate the next with you. Katie, I remember when you reached out to me as a silver saying, I am going to go through all the ranks in this company. I have my eyes set on diamond. I know it. I can taste it. And you wanted to connect with me because I was a farm wife and you are a farm wife with little kids. And our, our kids are similar in ages. I think maybe they're all just a couple years apart. And I remember thinking, I just want to see you achieve the success so badly so that you can show other moms what is actually possible. So when I saw you reach Diamond, I was screaming from all the way over here, so proud of you, another farm wife, making all these incredible dreams come true and proving to everybody that it can be done. So congratulations. I am so, so proud of you. Keep going because for you too, the best is yet to come. Artemis, last night I had date night with my youngest. And we were sitting in the hot tub and the discussion of snakes came up and he told me how he absolutely hates snakes. And I said, I have this friend. 
who rescues snakes. And he's like, what? I said, oh yeah. She gets them and then she rehabilitates them and she heals them and she makes them absolutely incredible. And he said, well, what else about your friend? And I said, oh, she has the most amazing accent because she's from the other side of the world. She sees the truth in everyone everywhere. She's really tall. Like I'm tall, but when I talk to Artemis, I have to look up. And I'm just in total awe because she is so incredibly beautiful. She's one of the most beautiful women. She has a vision to empower the world, and she is so powerful with her words. She is truly one with the source. She's a healer. She will always fight for what's right. She's so incredibly confident, and you can hear it when she talks. I said, Theo, you can just hear it in her voice. She's so confident. She makes everything look completely effortless, and she talks to you with such beauty and grace, and she holds on to you, and it's like she can see right into your soul and all of your emotions and all of your feelings, and she just makes you feel so amazing. She believes in the universe. She walks in faith. And she wrestles pythons, Theo. Like, they grab onto her, and she just wrestles them. And he goes, my God, Mom, that sounds like Wonder Woman. I said, no, nope. she's a royal crown diamond, and her name is Artemis. <laughs> it is absolutely so amazing to see you reach the top of this company and what you are doing for Australia is so incredible. You are giving hope to so many people. I just love everything about you. I love everything that you do. There are so few people in the world that you will meet that are as genuine as you. And I hope that you know that because you have the ability to do what so many people don't. And that truly is to change the world. I have this quote that I want to read in it. It just to me, it just sums up what I've always seen in you and what you make me feel in myself. Never would thou have made anything if thou had not loved it. It's from the Book of Wisdom. You love everyone. You love everything. And this is why you've been blessed with this amazing success. And I can't wait to see where you go next. Thank you so much for letting me be here and letting me celebrate this with you, Artemis. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, that absolutely touches my heart. Thank you so much. Let's go over to Jeffrey now. Um, Jeffrey Lewis and his beautiful partner, Gail Ann, who sadly passed away recently. Um, they have been friends of mine at so many of our diamond retreats and we've caught up. And um, Jeff, I was so excited to hear that this is a double celebration that you Royal Crown Diamond in March, right alongside of me. How awesome. High five. Hi, Artemis. Uh, what a wonderful celebration. I've been on here from the beginning and your leaders are so lucky to have you, but they're, you're, they're all lucky together because how much I love your unity of your team, how hard you work. And Gail Ann and I have always loved you so much. My angel has loved you always. She always said, oh, there's Artemis. We have to talk with Artemis. We need to spend time with Artemis. And we just loved you right from the moment we met you and how you shared. And I loved your ability, um, your ability to write and how good you took notes. Because <laughs> like, like Mary says, Gary loved you to take notes. I was the one, I never took notes. So I had to find somebody that took good notes and you were, you were the person that always took the best notes. So I always thought, oh, there's Artemis. I know she's got good notes. <laughs> so, but you and your team and uh, the acknowledgements, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. It's been, it's been a rough journey for you. You've been up and down here in your living. It's been all kinds of things that have happened, but you stuck with it and you did it and you and your, and it, and I've been in the industry for 45 years and it's hard to make it to the top of a company. It's a, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of things that you have to do. And you stuck with it. And you have to fight the, fight the obstacles every single day. Now, when somebody says uh, it's easy, oh no, it's never easy. It's never easy. Your, your, your organization makes you 
crazy some days and some days you love them to death. So that's, so that, that's the fun part about this business is it's a people business and there's all kinds of people in, in your group and you have one of the most loving groups. And someday I'll get to Australia and see the, uh, see the wonderfulness of it, but I don't want to hang out with any, any of the snakes. <laughs> We know you've got many friends here when you come here, Jeffrey. Thank you so yeah. much. Uh, I love um, you. Bye. I love you too. And what I'm going to do is go over to Rick now. Um, and then we'll, once um, we've got Sherry and, um, or Sarah online, um, we, can, we can go to them. But Rick, would you like to say a few words just for two or three minutes? Just unmute yourself first. How's that? Thank you. I thought I'd bring the celebration to the party. So um, this is this is uh, an amazing occasion. Um, it, it just and it's for all the leadership on this call, all the people that have rank advanced, all the people that have have hit a goal, for all those people that are, are, are reaching and searching for their dreams. Um, and I just want to congratulate everyone. Uh, on this call because I know a lot of you have have done some incredible things this month and in in particular our our highest rank achievers in um, Sharon and Andrew for Platinum uh, you guys are just incredible and, and the amount of giving you you provide to all of the members um, and and you always are sharing and in particular Andrew the work you do is, is phenomenal. So thank you and congratulations. And uh, the beautiful Katie, um, who uh, your journey to Diamond is legendary. And the photos you sent me on your journey of your house in total turmoil with, with toys and cake on the floor and kids running everywhere, that is a Diamond story. And that is what it's all about. And you were, you were focused from beginning to end in the chaos of life and everything that was happening around you in, in, in the current climate as well. And away you went and you achieved um, your goal. And um, I was so proud of you when you did that. And so same with everyone else. So a huge congratulations. Um, and to Artemis, um, I felt I was on a roller coaster with you uh, for that. <laughs> For that month, it was it was incredible, and I I was losing sleep, and I had knots in my stomach, and I was I just so wanted you this for you, as well. You are just the most amazing person I've met. You are you you practice servant leadership. You have this beautiful spirit and beautiful heart. The one thing you are is all you are everything. Young living, um, and and I know Mary and is proud of you, and and I know. Uh, Gary, wherever he is, would be so very proud of you. Um, but you, uh, you, you are unflappable. You are focused. You are um, so giving. The thing I, I, I noticed about you is your care uh, for your team. Um, you're always ringing, and it's not about you. It's about someone you want to look after or someone you can help or someone you can uh, support. And that is a unique quality. You, you put other people first. And... You know, this is a is a celebration. I don't want to take too much time, but it's you know they say success is in the journey, not in the destination. And for you, this is been a journey for you, and it, it's a journey you're you're continuing to to ride. But this is um this is a, a a testimony to all of your hard work and all of your dedication and all of your commitment. And look, I'm only the new kid on the block here, but from what I've seen and 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 how I've um got to know you in the in it almost in the over the past year has been an absolute honor and and I, I am so very proud of you as well and just want to congratulate you on your special day um and uh for your special milestone so enjoy the rest of of today and thank you for inviting me here. thank you so much and I, I also want to say a huge thank you i don't know if you noticed but these beautiful uh -huh. earrings yes <laughs> Um, quartz crystals they're called Herkimer diamond, diamonds and um, that was a gift from Rick and the team at Young Living for me having reached Royal Crown Diamond so they're absolutely gorgeous and I'm so proud to be wearing them today thank you so much Rick our pleasure thank and, you Sharon and Andrew do we have an opportunity to pay, play Kristen's video it was um, it's the middle of the night for her it was created a video for her.
Yeah, absolutely. I've got that on now and I can play that right now. Beautiful, thank you. Hi everyone, it's Kristen here in London in our wee garden. It's not much bigger than a shoebox and I can't believe it. We've been here for 10 months now, but today is a really important day. It's a celebration, a celebration of Andrew and Sharon reaching platinum. Oh my goodness, so well deserved. Andrew and Sharon are probably two of the most focused leaders that I've ever known. And certainly those of you that have joined in Andrew and Sharon's business are well educated, definitely well trained and well equipped. They are such an organized couple. And I know that this is just going to be another step on their ladder up to Diamond, which they so well deserve. But congratulations to Andrew and Sharon. You really deserve it from the bottom of my heart. You're such a solid couple in the company, such great backgrounds, great professional backgrounds. So everyone in your group, I know, will benefit from your background. But you do a fabulous job. You really embraced the business into your hearts. Both of you gave up your job years ago to focus on the Young Living business. So I'm so absolutely thrilled for you. And by the way, Dwayne sends his love. He's so super excited for you as well. And then Katie, I remember meeting Katie five years ago, nearly five and a half years ago now, and I think she'd only just joined the business. And oh my goodness, having built to diamond in a remote part of Australia on a farm, a farmer's wife with lots of little children. I can't remember how many children you have, Katie, but it's at least three. And of course, when I met your children, they were all under five. I'm sure they're growing now, but you are definitely a testament to it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter how remote you are. I'm sure you are the only person for miles around. You have demonstrated to everyone, particularly those living in cities, that you can build to diamond. And it doesn't matter how long or how many miles it takes to drive to a meeting. And I'm sure that you have done that and nobody has turned up. I know exactly what that's like. You are resilient. That is one of the things that I love about you, Katie. You have a kind, caring nature, but your steely determination shone through from the moment that I met you all of those years ago. And just watching you evolve as a leader, as a person, Katie, I'm so proud to call you my friend. And then there's Artemis, oh my goodness. Artemis so deserves to be Royal Crown Diamond. I wish I could be there to pop the champagne with you, Artemis. And next time we see each other, we will definitely celebrate together because boy, the last five and a half years that I've been with the business that I've known you, it was probably you were a bit tenuous about me five and a half years ago. It was a tough time. The way the business was evolving, compliance hit within three weeks of my joining and it was tough for your business. But I tell you, everyone, Artemis is the example that I always use of someone who pivots and adapts to the situation and she overcomes everything and anything. I really admire Artemis. And if I was ever going to join Young Living, I would want to join in Artemis's line of sponsorship because her teaching is second to none. She is so calm under pressure. She inspires me every time I talk to her. And now, five and a half years later, our relationship has evolved so much that I'm proud to call her my friend. I really admire you, Artemis, and you set the scene, you set the bar, you set the determination for consistency because that's what you've provided over your 20 years in the business is consistent consistency and you've built a solid business that is going to go on for decades and decades. I'm so thrilled for you, Artemis. I so wish I could be there to celebrate with all of you today. But anyway, I'm sending you my love from London. And I, I want to also now invite another beautiful friend of mine, Sarah Harnish, who is one of our diamonds in Young Living. And as Marcella said, the business side of Young Living 
was something that was never my strongest focus. My focus has always been the products. And so I've, I've often felt that I was a little behind on creating business tools. And one of my leaders, it was actually Caroline, gave me a book. And she, the book was called Game Plan. And I read this book from cover to cover. I couldn't put it down. And I thought, oh my goodness, if I was ever to write a book about the Young Living Business, this would be it. And I reached out to its author, who is Sarah Harnish, and Sarah shares her wisdom with everyone. Doesn't matter what team you're part of, and Sarah and I have become friends over the years. So Sarah, are you here? I'd love to, um, I'd love to have you share next. Yeah, thank you for the honor of popping on. I saw your name come across on Diamond Chat and I started crying because there's just something really special in your treasured friends hitting. Like, it's great to be a diamond, but to have your friends that are diamonds be diamonds also, it just hits you in this really, really deep, raw place. And so I've had the honor of knowing Artemis personally and just kind of seeing her journey uh, as she's ranked up and watched her, you know, hit diamond and crown and now royal. And um, what an honor to call her a friend. Uh, when she asked me to be a panelist, I, I cried again because I'm like, oh, there's just it's not enough just to say congratulations on Diamond Chat. Like, you know, you want to give more because you're so excited uh, when you see your, your, your uh, friends hit rank. But um, to me personally, uh, she's a trailblazer. Like, I, I just, I cannot believe the hurdles that this woman has overcome in Australia. And you know, you know, most of you that are on here are in the Australian market. And so just understanding um, the products and what you're allowed to say and compliance rules and, and the things you've had to jump over that we don't have to in the United States. It's like you're trying to build to Royal with your hands tied behind your back and uh, watching Artemis just blow through those hurdles and just blow open the Australian market for me has been tremendously inspiring. I'm like, Artemis, you don't need game plan and you don't need unstuck. Like you have Artemis, right? You have yourself. So She's, um, she just, I, I just watching her uh, journey has just really changed my journey and the things that I'm doing um, and really inspired me in the things that I do with my team because she's just an amazing woman. But on a personal level, she's a friend, uh, a very, very good friend. And so I've had the honor of being in Australia several times. I have a large team in Melbourne. I said it correctly. It's not Melbourne, <laughs> but uh, I have a large team there, and, um, and so I fly in once a year and do retreats, and many times I've stopped over and just checked in on Artemis, and we've had meals together and just been able to enjoy Diamond Retreat together and had shared many tables uh, of food together and just kind of talked through our hopes and our dreams, and Artemis has told me about her home and what her plans are and you know, where she wants to land and what her, her dreams of peace are, and every single conversation I have with this woman, it is about helping other people and serving people and putting other people first and she never leads with herself she's always leading with the people that are around her with with the love for her team with the love um, of the products the love of the people that haven't joined her team yet people that aren't even on her team that she's trying to bless and help and uh, she has a heart that is bigger than the size of Australia so um, she just been just a, a huge encouragement to me um, she always causes me to gut check and ask what my motives are and where my heart is coming from um, and, uh, and I, I know that those of you that know her, um, know her very well would say exactly the same thing about her, that she just really, truly is an inspiration. Kylie's shaking her head. Yes. Kylie, another one of my super close friends, um, in Australia. I just, I think about how much my life has been changed. You think about Young Living as a global company. You are literally as far away on the earth as we can possibly get to you. I had the blessing of having a 44 hour flight to Australia, my last trip there, because I picked the wrong layovers. And so, you know, you're as far away as you can get. And yet here we are in a Zoom together, hanging out, having friendships, building teams together all around the world. And, you know, I think about this wouldn't have even been possible 10 years ago, you know, in the gift of technology and stuff. So it's incredible that, you know, it feels to me like Artemis lives next door. Like when I sit down and I'm hanging with her, she doesn't seem like she's on the other side of the world because that's who she is. She's got that gift of connecting 
with people and serving them and putting them uh, before herself. And, you know, that's not going to change with her as a Royal Crown Diamond. Matter of fact, she just has a platform now to bless even more people. So Artemis, it is an honor to celebrate in, in your amazing, amazing accomplishments and achievements. I feel like I'm going to start crying again because I'm just so excited um, for you and just so, so honored that you would ask one of your American friends to pop on and just speak a few words over you. I am just praying a blessing. I'm praying 3 million, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million OGV and thousands and thousands of diamonds on your team because you are so deserving. Uh, I hate using that word deserving, but you really truly are a woman that just deserves that gift of a blessing and platform of a team under you because of the way that you serve the people around you, you know? And um, I really believe that you attract to you what you're putting out there and you pull good people into you because of your beautiful heart and how much you love those around you. So thank you um, for being able to say just a couple of things uh, about you. I love you with my whole heart. I'm going to just scream and cry when you hit double Royal Crown Diamond and triple Royal Crown Diamond. Mary's got to create some new ranks for you guys in Australia. You'll be the first Royal Crown Diamond in Australia. It's just a huge accomplishment. So I am screaming as loud as I can over here. I'm sure you can hear me from South Carolina as loud as I can um, over here. And when I, my feet land in Australia, I will be popping in and grabbing another cup of tea with you and giving you the biggest hug. I possibly can and crying tears of a whole flight on the way out there because you are just a beautiful gifted woman. Um, and just, I, I'm, I'm blown away at what you've accomplished in a market that is difficult to build in. You know, we, we take for granted in the United States, the ease with which we have to share and, um, and being there always reminds me uh, about priorities. It reminds me about what we have <laughs> and to not take it for granted. And it reminds me to be a, try to be a trailblazer uh, like you. So thank you for who you are. Thank you um, that you are my friend. Uh, it's, it's, a ble it's just awesome not to just get on and just talk about another dime, but I'm truly talking about a friend, a very, very precious friend um, to me. And so, of course, it means a lot that you brought Game Plan into Australia and shared it with your teams. Um, that has, has meant so much to John and I. But so much deeper than that is, uh, are those uh, coffee table discussions we've been able to have just as friends. Um, as, though you're, you. as though you're my neighbor right here next to me in the house next door. So love you so much. I'm praying a double and triple the rank over you. <laughs> Thank you. And for those of you that have stayed on, I know we're a little bit over time, but I just wouldn't feel right to jump off without introducing my friend, Sherry Ross. Um, Sherry. Sherry, I met you like I, I've known you from the very early days, but I remember when I was, I think it was in Mexico that you were up on stage talking and I went up afterwards and I spoke to you. And I know that when I heard you, I thought, wow, I really feel like Sherry and I have such a similar heart for things. And I looked at your success and I thought, wow, I wonder if I could ever do something like that. So you've been such an inspiration and a friend to me and your love of animals and your love of horses. I mean, that's my love as well. And um, so we share so much. Thank you so much for coming on to share today. Do you want to just take a couple of minutes? Yes, I do. And sorry for being detained. I had a Zoom call that huh, it, they just wouldn't leave. <laughs> so um, thank you. And you are, oh my gosh, woman, have you looked in the mirror? You are so beautiful tonight. Oh my gosh, absolutely over the top exquisite. And uh, when I saw that you achieved this amazing, amazing rank, I just started crying. I just started crying. I'm jumping around and I'm just like, yes, yes, absolutely. Um, because it's your heart that carried you through this whole time, your whole time. Even though you've experienced some pretty sizable heartaches over, you never, you never allowed the heartbreaks to break you. You never allowed that. You stayed true to the wisdom in your heart. And Sarah said it so beautifully um, that you truly, you know, I have a saying that the, the, the difficult we do immediately the impossible, well, that just takes a little bit longer. <laughs> and, I, and I can honestly say, I can honestly say that you stayed steadfast and true. You never gave up. You never sold out. You never got discouraged. 
you never got defeated all the times where you could have and all the bumps that came up and unexpectedly you stayed true to you and you stayed true to the course and yes our heart whether we were in ecuador together or on uh, in thailand or wherever we were in the world together it felt like home it felt like home because our hearts were there and for you i can truly see because young living lives in your heart it lives there it doesn't just it's not words it's it's a fact it lives there and young living to you is the members it's the mission it's the commitment to making our world a better place it's hope for people who up until they meet us they've either given up or they're holding on with just a bare thread of hope for their life and you come in with this warm glowing heart that just exudes this energy that they that's palpable they can feel it honey they can feel it and somewhere in them they can feel that you know what i i i can't see it now but there's a part of me that really is holding on to that everything's going to be okay everything's going to be okay and when you show up that's what comes with you and i know that because i've seen it time and time again and i am just so honored to have you in my life and to be in your life and whenever i find a time that we are going to be together it's like those two magnet dolls <laughs> when they get so close together it's like wham <laughs> because that's how it is it's like we could whenever we get in close proximity it's like bam <laughs> right there and the hugs are there and it's so real and that feeling that you give is such a precious gift that there's no words there's no amount of money there's no amount of recognition none of that can feel that when you bring that and that is the heart of who you are and i just love you so much and i love the people that you bring with you and i love the presence that shows up when you show up and i considered myself extremely blessed to share a little bit of that with you and so my sister i love you i adore you i appreciate you and today we honor you we honor you thank you so much sherry so i guess for anyone that's watching on you know, I, I, what I want to say is that Young Living brings a whole lot of people together that are so similar in their hearts. And I found particularly as I moved up in the ranks and I started to become friends with, with all these other amazing diamonds and above from Europe, from America, from all over the globe, you know, you guys have been my friends and my support buddies as well. So I love that we have such a beautiful big family in Young Living. Um, Mary, your tireless efforts to support us every single day, thank you. Um, thank you to all of you being on the call. And I was hoping we'd have time for the team to say some words, but what we'll do is we'll actually um, trim this video just a little bit, cut out some of the stuff at the very beginning um, when we were chatting, thinking we were off camera and we we were on camera um, we'll post it so any of my team you're welcome to um, you know put comments in with that as well we'd love to hear from you but what have you brought to toast so um, this is going to be a celebration to all things young living um, not just my rank advancement not just Sharon and Andrew not just Katie um, this is for all of us. This is for every little win that we have when we put an oil on ourselves 
and we have an amazing result or we use an oil infused product and someone goes, gee, you smell nice or gee, your hair is beautiful, you know, thanks to the Young Living products that we're on. And on that note, I've got my red drink right beside me, ready to do my afternoon red drink. But for my toast, I've got 50% apple juice, 50% mineral water and a drop of lemon myrtle oil. It's one of my favourites. So if you've got a drink there in front of you, let's toast to everything Young Living. Um, Rick, thank you for being on the call. Kristen, when you listen to the replay, thank you for the video. Thank you to everyone that's here. And here's to your success. And here's to celebrate every step we've made, not just the one we made in March, but every single step along the way. Cheers. Thank you, Artemis. Thank you, Artemis. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Cheers. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Artemis. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Congratulations, Artemis. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations, everyone. And to my Bye. beautiful and Belgium friends. Caroline, if you're still on the line with us, I am actually going to end the call now because I think it's already 4.30 in the morning for you. Um, <laughs> so you can pop a comment in, at, you know, when we do the replay. And, um, yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you for being part of the celebration. Mary, thank you so much, everyone. Thanks. It's wonderful to be with all of you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Cheers.